A Sunday school servant asks, I'm so busy. How can I do a better job planning my lessons in my limited time? I have five ideas for you. And the first is actually a nice shortcut to getting it all done, and which is to use pre-made lessons or curriculums. So sometimes the lesson that we are reading or the curriculum that we've been given is not very detailed or it's so detailed that we don't know what to pull out of it, right? And it takes a lot of work, startup work, to get it to a deliverable stage, right? There are some ways and some curriculums out there that kind of take away the onus from you having to sort through all the information and give you a lot of information up front. The first for that, I would say, is the Southern Diocese curriculum for elementary school. It includes crafts and video suggestions and all kinds of things that make it really easy to plan your lesson and make the time that it takes for you to put together a good lesson much shorter. So I do recommend that if you aren't using the Southern Diocese for your elementary school lessons, that you definitely take a look at that and I'll put the link in the show notes. And then the other thing I would say is for teen lessons, the Southern Diocese curriculum is still not quite as comprehensive. Uh, It has a lot of great ideas and I I love using it and I use it in my class. But if you want something that's pre-made, I would look into Bridges to Orthodoxy, which is created by a a Coptic Orthodox servant who uh, uses those same lessons in her own uh, church. So look into Bridges to Orthodoxy for, you know, it comes with the PowerPoints already done. It comes with videos already chosen. It comes with a script if you want to go that far. Um, if you really don't have time and you want to deliver a great lesson to teens, Bridges to Orthodoxy is a great way to go. Now, let's say you don't want to do that. You don't want to use a pre-made lesson. You just want to do a better job with what you have, okay? So I would say at that point, invest a little bit more time up front in creating a system for planning your lessons. So instead of trying to recreate the wheel every time it's your turn to give a lesson, try to find like a template for your PowerPoints that you're going to use every time. Try to find a video resource that you go to each time. Like for example, uh, Be the Bee from the Eastern Orthodox Church is a great place to automatically just go to that channel, do some searches there, find one that works for you. So if you have like a lesson template and you know, I'm going to start the lesson with a song and then we're going to go into this and then I already have the PowerPoint. I just have to add the verses for that lesson, right? Um, Having that kind of a system allows you to plan quickly, especially when you're short on time. And then the weeks where you have more time, you can be more creative. Now, the other thing that I would really suggest that helps as you're going through a curriculum is to skim the lesson first and figure out what is the objective of this lesson? Because sometimes you the lesson is full of so much information that if you just read it to the kids or you just go straight through it, it's too, too, too much. So go back and think, what do I really want the kids to get out of this lesson? When you just skim through it the first time, what's really the purpose or the goal? And then begin with the end in mind. Plan your lesson. Just what will it take for them to meet the objective? And that'll help you not waste time working on like flashy things that really don't have anything to do with the objective that you're looking for, okay? So really focusing on the key themes and the objectives for the lesson will make you make it easier to maximize your time. Now, I did mention videos before, and I think videos are a great way to, you know, fill the lesson time, support your lesson without you having to do as much detailed work. So take a few minutes, pre-screen the videos, you know, search YouTube and find it. Those minutes up front, just looking for a good video, will save you 10 to 15 minutes of like trying to script and figure out what you're going to say. And you might find that those videos say it better than you ever could. Just make sure to pre-screen the videos um, so that you're, you know, you know that they're kosher and they're, they match our faith, right? Another way to do that is to consider a guest speaker. Maybe that's the topic for the week. Someone else can come and give part of it. Maybe you can invite Abuna occasionally to come speak, or maybe there's um, a servant who doesn't serve in Sunday school who can come and, you know, give a little bit of a talk to the kids that helps with that topic. Or if it's an a lesson that can be interactive, like maybe give them a trip, like maybe your lesson is about the altar and you're just going to walk them to the altar and that'll take some time, you know, to get them from one place to another and being there will make the lesson that much more real to them, right? Or maybe you want to talk about relics, so you go look at the relics that you have in your church. Some kind of trip worked into the lesson can help you plan, even if uh, you don't have as much time as you, you would like to do, like detailed planning, okay? 
And then the last thing, which is, of course, my favorite tip, and that is to push the lesson onto the kids as much as possible. So make the kids do more of the work. Maybe break up the lesson into parts and give each kid a part. Or turn the lesson into just a series of questions and you have them do all the talking. Um, any way that you can give them more to do and you less to do will help you in planning your lessons. And actually, they really enjoy it when they're the ones doing the lesson. They feel so empowered. So those are some of the ways. You know, you can use pre-made lessons. You can figure out a system of lessons, lesson planning, so that every time you're just doing the same thing and just filling it in. And then, you know, when you have more time, you jazz it up. Make sure that you're focusing on those key objectives. What do I really want them to learn? And then don't waste time on like the shiny things that don't really have to do with them learning that one objective, right? Um, using videos or guest speakers or a trip in order to fill in that time. And in the end, that will actually help them learn and absorb the information more. And finally, making it more interactive, putting more of the effort of planning lesson onto them so that you don't have to feel like you're um, burning, burning yourself out trying to do every single thing in that classroom.